it's funny because I think it's good for those hosts to realize, you're like, hey, man, this guy is from another country. And he, just because he's popular in America doesn't mean he cares about American culture. Jackie Chan has no idea who the Kardashians are, and the entire internet is praising him for it. Who, who is Kardashian? Are they movie star? Somebody tell me, what do they do? Yes. Movie stars, Jackie. Let's run the clip. So before we went out, we said, Natalie said, we're going to have you name your favorite Kardashian. Who do you like? Kardashian? <laughs> What's mean Kardashian? Do you know the Kardashians even no, better? I don't know. <laughs> you don't this know. Is, is that English? <laughs> That's English. I never heard that They're before. They're Armenian, but yes, they're English. Okay. The Kardashians. Uh, don't, he's Jackie not keeping up with you. them, so we're going to go they to the They know bowl. who you are. That's for sure. Okay, right, Jackie, go ahead. As you can see, this is from morning daytime television. I believe he was promoting The Foreigner at this time. And uh, this is going viral again on various platforms. I don't know if it's because Rush Hour 4 is going into pre-pro and it got greenlit. I know why. Uh, what is the reason? I know why. Because a lot of people are sick of the Kardashians and they're sick of American frivolousness and they see Jackie Chan as someone who has mastered his own domain. He's a legend in his own way and he doesn't need to know anything else, yeah. especially about the Western world. And I think he is the rare foreigner, especially an Eastern man, a Chinese man, uh, who is like more a part of the Western consciousness than the Western consciousness is a part of his consciousness. Oh. And that's very rare because usually we got to like, because the Western world is more dominant, we got to more adapt to them than they're adapting to us. And I think that that's why everybody's shocked. They're like, Jackie, you were a part of my child as the greatest stuntman. You don't know about the things that I know about? There's a Jackie Chan does not cater to you. All right, guys, we're going to delve into the comments section and break down more about why Jackie Chan doesn't need to know anything else other than what he knows. So please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. Yeah, and by the way, guys, we are fully aware that Jackie Chan's image has become controversial. It's been like roller coastered over the last five years on the internet. However, this is not about that. This is going to be about more, I guess, like, how he's become this like confident guy in the West that a lot of people are looking to, at least for this moment. I mean, overall, especially like uh, people just love him and his interviews are so endearing. They're earnest. They're funny. He's a little bit oblivious, but people understand it. They get it. His English hasn't really improved in 30 years. It's really funny. Andrew, we actually met Jackie Chan one time. I, he was nice to us. I got to shake his hand once and his hands were so thick and strong like... Uh, they, they were could, like mitts. They could grip on anything, man. Like, and his hands weren't that. They were like definitely bigger than mine, but they were actually just really muscular. Yeah. Um, Andrew, he's been a superstar in the East, let's just say for 40 years. And he's been a superstar in the West, like gradually from like mini star to superstar for about 30 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, like you said, he's given so many interviews. Um, what do you think it is? Like he he's like the most beloved guy because I think he's powerful and you know that he could beat you up or beat up any most regular people his size, but he seems very humble too. And in his movies, he takes a lot of hits He's not like this invincible alpha male. Yeah, I mean, I think he's one of those global stars and he's accomplished something that nobody else will. Literally that amount of stunts, that amount of movies, that amount of, he's literally gonna be one of the greatest entertainers in global history, to be honest, he right. is. He's up there. Um, so I think that he's super confident in himself and I do think it kind of sends a message to a lot of maybe particularly Asian guys or nerdy guys as well who have mastered something and it just goes to show you, once you master something that everybody respects, you don't have to cater to other people. You don't have to be apologetic. Right, you don't have to go be like, oh man, I'm going on Sway. I better like look up like the top 20 rappers at this moment. No, right? that's like what I would do if I was going on some show. Like <laughs> I would look up stuff and be like, oh, I don't want to sound like I don't right. know anything. But Jackie Chan's like, what? You, you speaking English? 50 cents. Jackie's like, yeah, I don't know anything. But so what? Look at me. Look at what I can do. I've done everything in this world, you know? And then... If I was, if that was me, I'd be like, oh, I got to know everything about every sneaker and food. Uh, where does this food, food come from? Where does this, I, I mean, you know what I mean? I yeah. Would, I would feel that pressure too. Anyway, let's get into the comments section, Andrew. Somebody said, my favorite part is when he asked if it's in English and all the host says, yes, it is. But it actually, the Kardashian name is an Armenian name. Has nothing to do with England at all. Yeah. So it is actually funny that when he said, is that English? Actually, the truth is, it's it's not really English. And does it go to show you that, like, Americans have accepted the Kardashians as almost, like, baseline default American culture or something like that? Like, it kind of made me mad when she's like, yeah, it's English, Jackie. Well, no, it's not. You can't no, find anybody uh, from, from, that's, like, one of the One of the ladies did slip in. Yeah, it's Armenian, but, you know. Anyways. 
Somebody said Jackie definitely has some samurai in him, a warrior. Jackie Chad, this dude is a legend. It must be protected at all costs. I don't think there is any physical overlap between people who watch the Kardashians and people who seriously watch Jackie Chan. And somebody mm. just said, no, people from Hong Kong. We really don't know who that is. Yeah. Um, this is an interesting debate, Andrew. I think a lot of people think that the Kardashians is global culture because they think American culture is automatically global culture. They're, that's kind of true, but not fully true. There are certain American stars that did not quite cross over to the rest of the globe, or at least all of the globe. And when you're talking about Asia, the Kardashians is not something that they envy, like in general. Right. This is not something that is hyper, hyper global. They might be more popular in like Eastern Europe, maybe. Right. I could see Where Kendall they're... Jenner having like a, a supermodel ad in Asia, but not like people knowing about the drama of the Kardashian family. Nah, I think Asians are just like, ah, I don't care Dude, about that. Do you like, think that Americans ooh. are wrong for thinking that all parts of American culture transfer over? Because one thing that a lot of people do not know, Andrew, is that hip hop is not very big in Europe. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not as big. It's not as big. If you even went to the UK and somebody just said, oh, I don't know who J. Cole is, I wouldn't be shocked. Yeah, no. No, like, not that many rappers can tour Europe. For sure. So it goes to show you not every part of American culture transfers over. Somebody said, good for him. I also wish I didn't know who they were. I'm so sick of them. They're not worth knowing about. I don't understand why they became famous. Ray J just said he accidentally released that tape. No, it was all a plan from Kris Jenner. Everybody hates them, but can't look away. I can't believe I was at a training for a call center in America a few years ago. I said I couldn't recognize the Kardashians from each other and everybody looked at me like I was alien. That's so stupid. Mm. Andrew, what do you think the Kardashians represent in American society? Because sometimes it reminds me of like Jerry Springer with the drama mixed with Marilyn Monroe. That's uh, Kim Kardashian mixed with a little bit of like the Kennedy family, as crazy as that sounds, because you're following this like royal high profile family. Why do people like this family that everybody hates or people like to hate them? Uh, I think it's because they represent American frivolousness. And just this fact of like famous for being famous, uh, right? Untalented people being superstars. Where it's like, not saying the Kardashians don't have a good business sense, obviously, they run good business. But other than that, they're not really quite talented. They didn't really accomplish anything outstanding. So it's like, why are you a fan? What are you a fan of? Like, if you're saying, oh, I'm a Kim Kardashian fan, are you a fan of her jokes, her writing? Right. It's just the way she looks, her personality does she is she says interesting stuff does she teach you things i don't know maybe not maybe maybe n different people take different information away do you think it's true in asia they tend to really value the westerners that are the best at something whether that's lebron messi kobe and jackie chan himself is a huge fan of jody foster because he said yeah jody foster was a child actor i was a child actor she direct movies and acts i acted then i direct movies i love it like, you know what I mean? He's yeah. like looking at her capacities and her skills. Does it kind of go back to America losing its meritocracy? Should there be a meritocracy when it comes to fame? Mm -hmm. Man, th there should uh, be, but clearly there's not. Somebody said the mere fact that people support them and buy into them are the ones that keep making them famous, whether they support them to love them or support them to hate them. They're saying the fact that he's going, Jackie's going viral for not knowing the Kardashians is still actually riding the Kardashians because the Kardashians do not care whether you like them or hate them as long as you're thinking about them. Yes, yes, yes. I do think, and uh, a lot of people tend to think about the Kardashians because, and they want to uh, crap on them and talk trash about them because it makes them feel better about their own life. They're like, see, I can pick apart the Kardashians on why they're not famous even though I live in, with my mom in my room that I grew up in. And you know, it's like, it doesn't matter. Like at the end of the day, I think hating on somebody on the internet still actually helps you and makes you feel better too. And it also helps them because you're talking about them. Right, somebody says China is looking better and better every day. And someone said, what do you mean, man? China's a joke and Jackie's a joke for supporting China too. Um, obviously, you know, this argument could go on forever, but basically it's almost like people are just saying, man, I'm sick of like the Anglosphere fishbowl and things that we're required to think about as a fish that's a part of this pop cultural fishbowl. Mm. Why does it look like a bunch of fish poop? <laughs> um, but yeah, people are, are, I think that that's why people are looking at Jackie because they're like, you're a superstar to me, but you don't think about some uh, of the things I wish I didn't know about. Also, would you say, David, that in a weird way, some people are looking at Jackie as a proxy for China where it's like, look, China 
Like a lot of people on the internet would be like, yeah, see, China, they just care about manufacturing. They don't care about all this other American right. BS they that got we're the caught up in. They educational tab on the Dole yeah. Yen. Look at how they're able to get all the kids to, 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 to sit still in school and, and they're limiting the gaming on their apps and stuff. They, this is smart. <laughs> and then they're looking at Jackie being like, yeah, see, Jackie just cares about his work. He gets up and works. He doesn't even care if he's hurt. He's going to keep going. And he doesn't care about all this other stupid stuff. Yeah, I do think there's some tone of that, but definitely I did not see that spoken out in the comments section, but there right. may be an undertone of that psychologically so. in the subconscious. I anyway, Andrew, so. let's just get into our takeaways from silly to serious. This is for sure silly. I mean, I guess there's this assumption that people we identify with or view as stars, especially in the Western world or English speaking world, know the same things that we do. Mm. And that's why Sway almost seems kind of shocked that Jackie doesn't know who Wu-Tang Clan is. Who's your favorite Wu-Tang Clan member? <laughs> Who, who, what? what? <laughs> Are you, you, you speak English? No, no, no. <laughs> you don't know the, the rap group, the Wu-Tang Clan? With the RZA, the Jizza, Method those, Man. Method Man and all those guys? 50 you, Cent. And, he, and definitely those white hosts are, are shocked that he doesn't know who the Kardashians are. But it's funny because I think it's good for those hosts to realize, you're like, hey, man, this guy is from another country. And he, just because he's popular in America doesn't mean he cares about American culture. But people are not used to that. Because right. usually the people who are popular in America try to know everything about America. Exactly. I'm not surprised if you quiz Michelle Yeoh, she probably wouldn't know everything either. She might know a little bit more than Jackie, of course, it makes sense. But ultimately, these people are from a different world and they're just like, you know, like the, the globe is my world. You know, I don't have to know 10 out of 10 things in America. Maybe I know 6 out of 10 America, 6 out of 10 here, 6 out of, because I travel everywhere. And then, know? of course, I know 10 it's out just, of 10 of my own culture. Right, right, right. Um, I also think it just goes to show you that if you're a master, a actual master at something that people respect, you do not have to cater to them. Right. Like and Jackie's English hasn't even improved in 30 years. Jackie's English hasn't improved. He doesn't need to know who the Kardashians are or the Wu-Tang Clan is, even though he does know who 50 Cent is. Um, he doesn't have to be apologetic about any of it. He's hyper confident. He cannot be shaken. You cannot uh, shake his confidence with anything. Like, how are you going to roast Jackie Chan? Right. Like, really roast him, like, to the point where he's, like, nervous. How are you right. going to make him nervous? He's jumping from building to building. Right, and he even made Steve Harvey laugh in an interview, and Steve Harvey is notorious for maybe, like, not having the highest image yeah. of Asian men. Like, in a way, you get to be oblivious if you're a master of something. And I think that's an interesting message to a lot of Americans out there or young people. Or you mean Asian Americans Asian Americans speci specifically, where it's like, we feel like we don't really, we always feel like we're catering to people. We feel like we have to assimilate. We're trying to be almost like the closest carbon copy to who, whoever we're talking to. Right? Yeah, exactly. It's like, uh, if we have an interview coming up, it's almost like, instead of going on the show and just enjoying yourself, you almost treat it like a job interview where you would have to like brush up on, oh, who are all the hottest celebrities? Oh, right. I got to be able to answer this question. Oh, can they send right. me the questions beforehand? Right. Who are all the Kardashians? I can name them all. Right. I can name all the members of Wu-Tang Clan. Like Jackie didn't apologize for not knowing. He doesn't care. Mm. And you don't have to care if you're a master of something that people respect. So I guess maybe what can you master? What are you the master of? Are you mastering something? I would like to think maybe we're not masters of it, but we're pretty close to like understanding a lot of like, Asian culture, Asian American culture. For sure, Asian for culture. sure. Now, that's now, that's now, our specialty. Now you could say, okay, well, if I go on the TV show and the TV show host doesn't value that you guys are 10 out of 10 knowledge in that field, then I don't have the leverage to act like I don't care about right. anything. Right, but everybody values what Jackie Chan does and that's the difference. Yeah. Because he's a stunt guy, he's an entertainer, he can beat you up, he can kick you fast, and he's a seasoned veteran. So, And he has an Oscar now. He's a legend. Worldwide legend. There's Michael Jackson... There's Michael Jordan, and on that list, do, 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 Jackie Chan. Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan are Bruce on Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan Anyway, let us know what you guys think in the comments section below. What can we take away from this? Here's some other clips from Jackie Chan interviews over the years. Man, honestly, you know, regardless of whatever people said about him in the last 5, 10 years, he crushed his interviews. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. We are the Hot Pop Boys, and until next time.